All right, we got the uh, the patch notes for global. The second part of the 100 day celebration is finally here. And the hero for the second part will be Green Small DN. Uh, that will be the banner. A lot of people were speculating Lily, a lot of people were also, you know, um, kind of uh, expecting DN, and DN will end up being the one. Um, just a quick look at her. She is actually a very good unit. Uh, I do have mine at 6 out of 6 on GP. And uh, she's a great link. I actually personally, let me bring up my game right here. I personally use mine as a link for King. So if I go on my like my PvP teams right here, uh, yeah, I use mine as a link for King right here. I give her the six six for that. So it's um, it, I, honestly, if you are still to build up a small DN, if you have not worked on any small DNs at all. Like, if you have not, you know, given dupes to the red one or the blue one, I would recommend working on this one, because she's actually a very good unit. The blue one's also good, don't get me wrong. And the red one actually has utility eventually, if guild boss keeps the same, but... Uh... The, I really like the green one. She's actually a very good PvP unit as well for the Fraudian team, and she's just overall a, a very good unit. Uh, but yeah, she taunts in the beginning of the turn um, and gives a barrier equal to 200% of defense in the start of battle. So this is her un unique. It's a very good unique. You know, at the beginning of um, every battle, she's gonna have that taunt. Uh, her regular attack card is just severe. There was great chance, nothing special. But her blue card is such a good tanky card she taunts and increases her defense related stats by 80 120 200%. now keep in mind that's defense related stats that's resistance I increasing resistance by 200 percent wow it's already um 14.5 right increasing your resistance by 200 percent is quite a bit <laughs> It's quite a bit. I gave mine, um, I gave DM a UR, a, uh, a UR HP and defense set, so she's like very, very tanky in PvP. And I cannot complain. Very, very good unit. Um, so if you do pull her, I would recommend working on her. Like, she's a very good unit. But do I recommend something for her? Here's the thing, right? In the patch notes, they haven't dropped the banner, but we got leaks of the banner, how it looks like. So this is how the banner looks like. I'm um, guessing the sins are gonna be featured, the question mark? You'll see the pictures of the sins, but it could just be just for, you know, cosmetic of the, the actual banner. They could not be an extra, you know, rates or anything or, or, or featured. But if Ascular is in the banner, it might not be the worst thing to summon on, but at the same time, I, it, as my recommendation, if you are short on gems, Lilia is insane. One thing that I saw on Twitter was they are uh, someone commented how they are really cucking the Emiliotis. They released the Emiliotis, right? And they did not release Lilia with him. And they released uh, Valencia, which is literally his counter. They released Green Lilia, which is kind of his counter because they reduced the attack by 16%. Now they're reducing another tanky green unit. They are purposely cucking blue the Emiliotis, and so funny. But yeah, in the near future, Lilia comes out. But Lilia, I don't say someone for Lilia because of the Emiliotis. Lilia by herself, as a unit, is a top tier, god tier unit. Lilia is fantastic. Don't get me wrong, Dan is also good. But, um, you know, if, there, if you have to pick one or the other, Lilia is really, really, really good. And I do recommend her over the end. But it seems like it's not going to be a, the worst banner ever, you know? Uh, maybe, you know, Fasconer is featured, Green King also is pretty good, you know, to give dupes for, I don't know. Uh, all these events are coming out, which is really good. New celebration, Global Drop, uh, Exchange Shop, Bingo Number, okay, 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 okay. So, other leaks that we got here from... Oh yeah, this, this is also coming out, so... Uh, or, this could not be coming out, <laughs> let me check the... Uh... Uh, did they say anything? Did they say anything? Oh! What? They're not giving engraving to Meliodas? <laughs> They're giving it to Valenti, Dien, Gilfunder, and Hauser. That's so random. I'll explain this in a second. Why I'm... Mm. 
new bundles, yay! Okay, so this is coming up, coming up with the update as well. I actually really want this to come back on GP because I really want the Gopher one. I don't have it. I didn't buy it when it, when it came out, like, and I, I regret it. Uh, but this set right here is also coming up. So if you want a costume, if you want to buy a costume for King and stuff, and this co this costume set looks sick. But some of the event, some of the things that were added to the um, to the to the files. By the way. This was just added, but do not think that this will come out in the future, in the near future. This is something that released on GP very recently, and it, this was added to the files, it's on global, but do not, you know, think too much about it, just don't think too much about it. But the bingo that they're mentioning is this, there was this bingo during the 7777 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, <laughs> there were a lot of 7-0s, uh, celebration on GP, and it was a great um, uh, reward drop. So it, this is the picture for him. Essentially, you uh, you cross stuff and then you get the rewards. It's it's kind of like the wheel in a way. So that's that's really good. And you're also getting go re uh, reach event reward up. Reward up. Hundred days secret box. Oh, it's just, it's just like the um, those you put code on. Death match reward festival. Hundred day reward dungeon. That's pretty good. They're dropping. Uh, um. Wait, reward dungeon is this? Wait. To this? Okay, that's good. Uh, this is an activity that's actually currently... We have it on GP right now. If, if it is what I'm thinking. If it is what I'm thinking. It could be something else. But if it is what I'm thinking, it's this. If you go on the SP dungeon right here, there is a little activity right here that costs one stamina. Yeah, and it gives you, one of, it gives you all designs right here. One of each uh, book, uh, designs right here. And it gives you one pendant, um, uh, not of each, just a random pendant. Interesting. Uh, what else? Trading girls, oh, Arjun celebration, some sins mission. Trading girls, spontaneous mission. Oh, okay, that's good. Uh, these are just random missions that appear while you're doing the training girl, though, which I'll talk about in a second. I, I know I complain about global translations, but come on. Training dungeon sounds much better. Like I. It's the the Japanese name. Training dungeon just sounds much better. I I, I don't want to hear. It. I don't want to hear. It. Anyways, um, hero enhancement success rate increased. Social media sharing event. Oh, the ends equipment. Oh, salvage event. Oh, take this opportunity. Take this opportunity. Grind gear. Level the gear up and break it. Take this opportunity to 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 the fullest. Use the salvage event, like as much as you can. It's it's very good. But. Uh, yeah, so Trading Cave, I do have a video explaining Trading Cave, I will also upload the video today, um, a little later today, beating every level 3 fight with units that are currently in Global, um, and they're relatively easy to acquire, um, so be aware of that, unless they change the fights, which I don't think they will, but yeah, I'll, I'll upload that video uh, later today, so. Yeah, which opening Trading go uh, Keys, um, yeah, every 5 days you get one, I actually have one right now. Every five days you get one of these, right? And uh, you can use it. If you don't use it in five days, you will, you will uh, lose one one charge. Oh no! I think you can hold the charge. I've never I've never came to the point where I don't use it. I always use it. I, I do recommend as as soon as you get one, just use it. Uh, you get it every five days, and um, it's better for you to just always use it. Never never uh, lose a single opportunity of uh, using one of these stamina's. It would require hammers and equipment, equipment engraving and other kinds of rewards. A lot of people ask me what, what hammers do. Hammers just upgrade a stat in a gear. If I have something to upgrade right here, I'll, I'll use it just to show. Do I have hammers? I do. So, let's say this is 2.8, right? If I use my hammer right here, it would just increase. And it will, it will not re-roll, it will just increase. So you increase to 2.9. Uh, the odds of being 0.1 are incredibly high, so be prepared for pretty much all of your enhancements to be 0.1. It's, it's, it's every time. Uh, but yeah, equipment um, engraving, you know what I'm talking about? This is uh, you are gear, essentially, but you can actually upgrade any kind of gear to the next level. You can upgrade more than once, you can upgrade, you can, you can upgrade uh, twice or three times, only once. So, if you want to upgrade SSR gear into UR gear, that works. And it costs 10 of these engraving medals, and it costs a 6 star of this, which is um, awakening 6 of these into one of these. So, 
<laughs> the thing about you argue is that it only works for one named character. You engrave you engrave in a character, right? Let's say they kind of they explain you here, right? Yeah, engraving a hero's name when they come in raise the equipment to grade by one. They're showing the end here. If you engrave that gear to the end, only the end will get the extra stats. If you use that UR gear in a character that's not named the end, that specific one that you engraved, it would just be regular SSR gear. So just be aware of that uh, before you keep engraving random and you don't know what you're doing. Um, stats from equipment do not apply in training, rather, yes. Yeah, so uh, no equipment. It's good because then you don't have to keep changing the, the... If you had to keep changing the gear every battle, that would be so annoying. That's actually... It's so much better. Um, there will be 30 Goddess Embers when the training door opens. Uh, five of them will be randomly selected for a battle. Okay. Can exchange the Embers for uh, for free once a day. For the exchanges will cost one diamond. Uh, okay. The hero is using blah blah blah. Can be used again. So yeah, if you beat a fight, you cannot use that hero again. If you play if you if you play Dokkan and you know uh, Dokkan Battlefield, it's very similar. Uh, but if you lose, you can actually retry the same characters. Um, Clearing Goddess Embers will fill the, uh, oh, that's, oh, they, they call these Goddess Embers, okay. Will fill the Illusion Ember Gauge. Oh, that's, that's the term, okay. It's good knowing the terms, because I had no idea. I just called this the Golden Thingy, but it's called the Illusion Ember. Alright, it's a good name. Fill the gauge uh, all the way to unlock in Illusion Embers, so yeah. For, um, every time you fill this, if you do three level three fights, it will, it will fill. And you'll fight one of the teams that you, that you used to clear a battle. And by completing these is how you actually get the uh, the the purple gems that make you war gear, essentially. Um, the training guard will close after clearing nine goddess embers. Yes, every nine fights that you clear, you have. Um, or after seven days, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Max right, so three times if you only clear level threes. So yeah, if you if you clear like level ones and choose, it will take longer for you to fill the thing, right? But if you clear, it, the, the the perfect run would be you know you clear nine level threes in three of the gold fights, right? That would be the perfect run. But do not do not expect like I, I'm talking like I know like some of y'all you know maybe like five percent of you will be able to just do it no problem. But most of you will not be able to just do all three level three fights and the three the three gold fights. It just it's very it took me so long to be able to do that as well. Do not worry. Do not worry if you can't. All right, it's just normal. Um, if you just just can't at the beginning, um, it's very difficult. And just you need to cheese all the fights pretty much, especially if you're um, if you don't don't have all the units level eighty and stuff. Um, but yeah, just be of note. Level up your box and uh, as, oh, uh, nothing or your box. Level up is you know. Some of the R and SR characters that uh, could be useful for specific fights, and you know, in the video that I'm gonna put out, you know some of the characters. I, I do give uh, some examples. Um, yeah, you you go to Merlin to do that. You can obtain graven stones. Blah, 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 blah. You can remove equipment engravings. Yes, you can remove the engravement of a gear, but you do not get the purples back. So make sure that if you're gonna engrave a gear, you are sure that you want to engrave that gear. Engraving engraved equipment can be worn by all heroes. But yeah, yeah, yeah. If you use, like, let's say you engrave a R to SR, if you use another the character, it would just be R, but if you use the character that you engraved, it will be an SR. Simple stuff. Now, they released this on JP with Meliodas and Elione, which is pretty funny, but on Global they're releasing Valencia, Dian, Gilfan, and Hauser. That's really interesting. I wonder how fast they'll put out the updates um, for engravement. Because of how fast global has been i am assuming every week so uh, eventually uh, in the last color you're gonna have his ur gear and stuff but for now for this week only valencia the end Funder, and hauser have ur gear prepare if you are in the high pvp ranks if you're in challenger prepare to face this team <laughs> it's it's probably gonna happen it's probably gonna happen more heroes will be added over time of course of course hammers uh, like a like a like I uh, explained, um, the hammers are used to increase the the, uh, the main stat. New bundles, 100 days discount, discount bundle, 100 days celebration diamond bundle, blah blah blah. Ho Hawk pass! Hawk pass! Hawk pass! Yo! Is there a unicorn with the Hawk pass? Wait, give me, give me just a second. Okay, I, I wanted to check on the leaker here. No, there's no new character coming with the Hawk pass. Interesting. 
No new character coming with the Hawk Pass. Alright, that's uh wait, did they post something else here? Let me just refresh real quick. No, it's just the, the only post. No new character of the Hawk Pass this time. Interesting. I mean maybe they will. Um mm, I don't know. Hammer, of course, hammer, hammer pack, a cooling green pack. So these packs, right? Also has also have it here. Oh by the way. I'll talk about this later, but do just because you saw this, don't think it's, it's coming out soon, okay? <laughs> Calm down. Uh, but yeah, this is coming out. Uh, the uh, all the um, the cheering uniform set stuff. Uh, it's 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 one of these, right? But they didn't give the actual name. It's probably the 100 day exchange shop or something. Uh, but yeah, uh, the costumes and stuff they will all be in the exchange shop. Uh, this will be a pack, of course. It comes with 30 of those thingies and three. Um, this on GP costs 40 euros, I think. I'm going to the shop right now. So expect, of course, the same price on Glow, I assume. Um, uh, yeah, it costs 39, as you can see right there. Uh, I can actually show all, all these packs that are coming out. Oh yeah, this ticket right here, I assume it's, uh, you buy this ticket to get the costume. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming, you know, you buy the ticket with uh, in-game currency, not money. Um, this is the bingo ticket, uh, the bingo itself that we talked about, uh, these packs are coming out right here, uh, this pack right here, 400 anvils and 5 hammers, uh, cost 40 euros, uh, this is the engravement thingy, 500 hammer, uh, 30 hammers and 500 uh, anvils cost 80 euros, uh, and you know the costume, that, that's pretty much it. So uh, yeah, that's uh, this part 2 of the 100 celebration, it's pretty, it's pretty good, I don't... Again, the banner, right? I know a lot of people, you know, they want to know, should I sign up for the banner? The end is very good. But, um, she will be in so many banners, and I do personally recommend if you if you don't have the gems to spend, and you want to save for Lilia to get her guaranteed on her step up, is not a bad idea. Especially considering how Global has been putting up banners that only last for a week. Lilia's banner might just be for a week and you'll not be able to, you know, maybe accumulate gems during the process of her banner being already alive. So maybe you want to, you know, just have it saved uh, just in case. That's it. Uh, good update. Um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching.